name is Gemma and I am back with another video for you today. First of all, I would like to wish all of you a happy St. Patrick's Day. It is Tuesday, March 17th, so it is St. Patrick's Day, hence why I am completely decked out in green. And since today is Tuesday, I am going to do a Tuesday Talks video. This is my first Tuesday Talks video. I'm very excited to start doing these videos. Just like Top 5 Wednesdays, I didn't realize that Tuesday Talks was a group on Goodreads, but it is, and here we are. So today's Tuesday Talks is how do you decide what books to read? So for me, I have mentioned this in multiple videos, I am a mood reader. I read whatever I feel like reading, and it's typically how it goes. There are some exceptions to this, and I'll get about into those in a minute or so, but for the majority, I am a mood reader, which is why TBR lists are kind of hard for me to follow. If you guys remember back in my February wrap-up March TBR, I had a very, very ambitious TBR for March. I think I've read one book on that TBR so far, and I have read about five books in the month of March. So TBRs aren't really necessarily my thing. I can't just... I'm gonna read this, I need to read this, and then read it. On some cases, yes, that does happen, but for the most part, I just pick up whatever I'm in the mood for. Like I said, there are some exceptions to that, and for example, library books. I request my library books online, and then I get them when I get them. So when I get those library books, depending if I'm in the mood to read it or not, I kind of have to read it because it's due back at the library. And lately the books I have been getting from the library have been audiobooks, so it doesn't really matter if I'm in the mood to read it or not because all I have to do is hit play and I'm listening to the book. So it's easier to get into audiobooks rather than getting into physical copies of books if I'm not in the mood to it, to it, if I'm not in the mood to read it. So that aspect does kind of help, but the whole audiobook discussion is for another video. Another example of books that I'll pick up even if I'm not in the mood for would be books that are buddy reads or group reads on Goodreads. And the prime example I have for that is right now I am reading We Should Hang Out Sometime because this is the book Explosion book of the month. And I am enjoying this book so much. I'm almost done with it and I can't wait to finish it and I can't wait for the live show. But live shows and group reads like that, those are exceptions. And the last exception to my mood reading would be books that I just really want to read before I see the movie. And prime examples of this would be The Maze Runner. I wanted to go see that movie so badly, but I really wanted to read the book first, so I forced myself to read it. Divergent is kind of an exception. Kind of not. Because I wanted to read it last year before the movie came out. Well, I just now got around to reading it this year and saw the movie. Loved them both. Another video up on that soon, hopefully. It, it's, yeah. So books that are movies that I want to see, but I want to read the book first, that is also an exception. But at the same time, I kind of got to be in the mood for it in order to really get through it because I am a quitter with books. If I'm not enjoying it or if I'm just not feeling it, I'll set it down and pick something up until I feel like reading that again. Hence why my currently reading list is so long. Whoops. But yes, that is all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below, how do you decide what book to read next? Are you a mood reader? Do you pick out of a TBR jar? What's your strategy? I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Again, thank you for watching. As always, links to everything in the description below, including the link to the Tuesday Talks Goodreads group, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!